I hate tech debt. Always have as an individual contributor or a leader. Strategically handling tech debt in your platform and convincing decision makers is complicated. Your engineering teams are amazing, I know. But tech debt's still gonna happen. It's not if, but when and how much. Every app or system you use has hidden tech debt or will soon. It's gonna happen because there are no perfect solutions. Every decision is a trade-off. And if you build something near perfect, things change. Versions, integrations, requirements, usage, the list goes on. A good DevOps setup is the foundation for software teams. Some call this the platform, so we will. The platform enables software teams to focus on what they need to build with the benefits that the platform provides. Companies prioritize value to the end user, and that's understandable. It's how we get more users or upsell. It's generally hard to prioritize tech debt because it may appear to have no end user value. It's very hard in the platform, even with metrics which you know platform teams love. And it may be hard to find a good time, and your stakeholders are usually internal. So addressing tech debt in the platform can slow down software teams, the very teams depending on the platform for user-facing work. It, changes can take more time, and they may even require downtime or migrations. The horror. So we understand the problem, time for solutions. If you remember nothing else, to make your case, you must show impact to decision makers. And here are six ideas that have been effective. Companies make money by selling products or services, even nonprofits. If you can, show increased revenue or decreased expenses. It's hard, but try, no disrespect to Yoda. Um, or often you can show indirect impact. More frequent builds could lead to more features that delight end users, even better with metrics. Or maybe software teams spend less time, and you know the time is money. Tech debt risk can actually affect a company and end users. Did you know that these outages were due to tech debt? Do you know of others? Have you had your own? Back to solutions. Using analogies can help whether or not your audience is technical. A house foundation, most don't see it, but if there's a problem, it can affect the whole house. A bridge can connect difficult to reach places. Maintenance, humans, machines, software, all need it. Delaying can lead to bigger issues. Skipping a car's oil changes long enough can lead to engine failure. Software needs maintenance too. And why do we appreciate insurance when we need it? Many things can go wrong with the platform, potentially with wide reach. So show the insurance and the resilience even better if you have prior successes. So we had an ineffective Terraform setup that was slowing down software teams. And for the platform team, it was hard to estimate, deadlines were missed, the backlog kept growing, and it was a constant retro item for over two years. Not all pos possible solutions are equal, so we did analysis and made suggestions. And for each suggestion, we included the urgency, the impact, the estimated time frame, the that target time frame, estimated effort, and more. We present it to the leadership. We used analogies. Home delivery, home pie delivery, running a race. We showed potential impact and past impact. And we time boxed to one sprint to start. We released in less than a sprint, and it was faster and better. It became the base for further improvements. The results reached the CEO and the company newsletter felt good. So what about you? What tech debt needs to be prioritized where you are? How will you make your case? Remember, tech debt's going to happen to make the case, prioritize, show impact, track results. This is the reducing tech debt dance. Kidding, it's salsa. But we should have one because reducing tech debt makes me happy dance in my chair. True story. Thank you, DevOps Days DC.